The trouble with living at the select end of town is, sooner or later, nosy outsiders are going to check it out. The Green Briar Troop is on the move. During their exile, the Pawnee strayed onto Greenbriar turf, but didn't bank on one thing, bringing the Greenbriars back with them. The trickle is turning into a flood. But the Pawnees are onto them. Bess and the Sisterhood appear over the rooftops to stem the flow. Bess sounds the alarm and rallies the troop. It's the females who are most committed to defending their turf. Males may help too, but they have other goals, like impressing the out-of-town girls and stopping their males doing exactly the same. Mr. Cool is often seen strutting his stuff in the middle of a battle zone. Being seen in the right place at the right time is vital for a successful male vervet. So where is brains? It's all building up to a face-off. In between the Greenbriar's line on one side and the Pawnee's on the other lies a contested no monkeys land. A large Greenbriar male, called Bandit, holds back from the fray. He's already been hurt, not by another vervet, but it does prevent him from taking his place in the lineup. The Greenbriars are testing the Pawnee's nerve. Who will blink first? It's an impressive lineup, but the Pawnees stand their ground. Seeing the Pawnees' determination, the Greenbriars finally withdraw. The Pawnees are already sharing the estate with one troop, not to mention the humans. There are only so many pieces in the pie. <laughs> <laughs> 